in our video. Uh, today we're looking at this uh, camera. Um, Very short video. Uh, it came with some nice waterproof connectors. Uh, it's a this camera is just a a, a cheap camera uh, from, from it was from AliExpress when I bought the MP3 player. I got this. Uh, believe it or not, you can build your own camera out of various parts, and this this camera seemed to come with all the parts. You've got the camera on one board. They were already uh, pre-assembled with this ribbon cable. There's a place for an infrared LED, although it didn't come with one. There's the Wi-Fi antenna and SD card slide on the back, and the antenna came with it. And uh, the ad implied that you would have to assemble all this, but really all I had to do was plug in these connectors, and it was ready to go. Um, that was easy. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, it's it came with some pretty pretty decent waterproof style connectors, but uh, you know it was my first experience with building my own camera, and for uh, nineteen dollars and twenty one cents for a seven twenty p or nineteen dollars and eighty one cents for a seven twenty p camera. Uh, it took like days to do that. Yeah, it, it, you know that picture kind of implies that you have to put all that stuff together, but you don't. Uh, you just show somebody already did it. Yeah, you just have to connect these, connect, uh, hook up these connectors. So this was really an experiment just to see if I could build a little Blue Iris compatible camera. I was originally going to use it for a, uh, I was really just going to use it for a doorbell camera, but that didn't that didn't work out. I ended up putting it in this old Radio Shack project box that I don't know what I was using this for before, but uh, just thought I would stick it in there and stick it in the garage. Just as an aside, uh, one thing I found out this is an old camera that that had broken, and I. First of all, I started to put this the camera board in here, and it actually worked in here, although the board, I, w I had to kind of like squeeze the bottom board in sideways, and I didn't really like the way that worked, so I ended up putting it inside that other box. Uh, but you can, uh, these are all sort of standard parts, and I was able to mount the top camera board on those little gold uh, screws. But anyway, back to the, the case I used, I just sort of crammed everything in there. Uh, uh, Dad, that looks like it could explode. No, that serial port is from an old project. I just didn't want to leave a hole there, so I'm just going to hide those wires in there. Uh, that little toothpick in there is an interesting story. It doesn't come with a microphone, but if you... Uh, I had an old microphone in the parts drawer. I soldered in there and just stuck that extra wire in the plug and grounded That's it. That's a toothpick. It just holds it in there. This diagram on the site shows that there's a mic button, so that you know they just didn't include it in the connector, and I didn't have another connector, so I just kind of stuck that in there to see how that would work. Anyway... After putting it all together, drilling the hole for the camera, you know, I'm kind of stuck with a neat little wireless camera. Maybe I could hide That's it. That's cool. I could hide it on a bookshelf or, you know, stick it somewhere, in, uh, you know, inconspicuous. Then your invention will spread the world. We'll, we'll spread the world. Anyway, there's a little uh, Lego guy just a couple inches from the camera. And a puppy dog. Yeah, that's one, of your, that's one of your Legos. But here it is. Just playing it back through VLC. And, uh, it's and if you can do this, guess what? Pretty decent picture, actually. It uh, gives it's you... It's kind of jerky, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's not the best camera for $19.21. Oh. And, and that's you, including tax and shipping and everything. And if you lift it up to the TV screen... Yeah. Now, here it is. Uh, it works with Blue Iris. You know, that was, uh, you know, one thing. Now, I can't get rid of the time display. I guess I could zoom in on Blue Iris. That's one thing I never did figure out is how to get rid of that time in the corner. But uh, as far as the picture quality goes, you know... It, it's pretty much on par with the other 720p. If you face it as TV screen, it'll look cool. Yeah, it's pretty much on par with the other 720p cameras. Now, there I am blocking it. I ended up blocking it uh, from accessing the uh, network at my router because it is a cloud-based cam, so it's trying to communicate with uh, the outside world, and I really don't want that to happen. I'm, I, I like to be, have control of the network myself. Uh, here's a screenshot of the configuration settings that actually made it work with Blue Iris and... Uh, audio and all that stuff. Now what's interesting is there's a Chinese utility, it's not in English, and <laughs> to that you can use, I think, to customize. I tried to look, look for all sorts of options using my phone and Google Translate to get that time display off. That time display at the top won't go away. But I could never figure out a way to do it. And uh, I ended up sticking this out in the garage. And here's, the, here's what the recording looks like from Blue Iris. As you can see, I can't get rid of that timestamp. I can zoom in or, or make a virtual smaller camera. And the once I deny internet access from this thing, uh, the timestamp becomes invalid. So that's, that's kind of a bummer. You know, you can't, you know, I could zoom in and lose some of my 720p resolution. Uh, but anyway, it, it does a pretty good job. This is wireless. It's going through a couple of walls to get back to the wireless router. And then... We're not to show our faces, Dad. Oh, well. Anyway, here's the app. This is the UC app on Android, and uh, of course it's a cloud camera, so for this app to work, you've actually got to allow it access to the internet, but 
it will uh, connect and you can control all sorts of settings uh, for the camera there. I wish it was 360. 360? Oh, well, it'd have to have a motor and stuff, but there's no there's no sort of settings I could find. You can make a motor. Yeah. Uh, uh, but, you know, you can't turn off the time display. That's the only real big negative I found with this camera um, is there's no way I can, I can set the time, but, uh, again, you have to... Again, it's a cloud-based camera, which I don't really, I don't really like in general because I'm using uh, Blue Iris. But anyway, once I got it all set up, I denied access to it from the internet. Uh, it doesn't have an infrared LED, but it does have an infrared cut filter, uh, and so unfortunately, it didn't work. It's not night vision. Yeah, the, I could never get it, the infrared mode to come on. It looks like someone shot out the camera, Dad. They didn't shoot out the camera. No, it looks like someone shot it out. Yeah, so that little IR illuminator, if you turn on the light at night, you know, it's, it, it works fine. That's in the garage at night. But uh, I got my little uh, infrared illuminator and kind of moved it throughout the garage, and it shows up as an infrared thing. But uh, there it is. I moved the infrared illuminator to the top of the car, and uh, I can go out there and move it around, and it never really illuminates. So I think the infrared uh, mode is never getting activated and I'm not sure how to activate it. Maybe, maybe one of those uh, menu settings and in, in that in that Chinese app would let me do that. But I, I don't know how to do it. So if anybody knows, please leave me a comment. Ooh, but one of those lights. Waving around a flashlight works at night, so it doesn't need a lot of light. It's a little blocky there. Uh, but waving around the infrared. What uh, flashlight are you using? Just just our little flashlight. That one. Yeah. Anyway, in conclusion, it was a little experiment to see what I could do. Uh, but I, I probably would go back to maybe a D-Link or something else if I just wanted a cheap camera. Uh, but, or either I'll continue to explore the other options for... Why just make the for, doorbell camera? Why just get a smaller one? Yeah, well... Why yeah. just grab this random iPhone and just put it in? See you next time for another video. Bye-bye, and see our behind-the-scenes. All right, the end.